Hi guys, it's Nick. Right, I thought I'd put a video together today. I'm just sending up my second box to Amazon FBA uh, and I thought I'd do a little video just talking about FBA and how I'm getting on. Um, I sent one box up, must be now a couple of weeks ago. I had about 30 odd items in it. I think I've sold, I'm not sure exactly, I should have looked before I started this. It's about seven or eight items from it. So over a fifth of the stuff I sent up uh, in the first box has gone and I'm getting more for that stuff than I would have done Merchant Fulfilled. I'm not trying to be the cheapest, I'm trying to be the cheapest FBA price but not competing with the Merchant Fulfilled stuff. Although the fees are higher I am getting more for my stuff. Um, so yeah I thought I'd, I'd keep feeding the beast as we say and send another box up. So I've just, I've literally just printed off my labels. Um, I'm not sending masses, I think it's 20, 21, 22, might be 20, 23 actually, um, items. I've just printed off the labels. So these are the sheets that I've been using, which are 27 per page. And I'm just about to label up the stuff in the box. So I'll quickly show you the box and the assortment of stuff I'm sending up. Okay, right, this is the box that I've got on the go. Um, I've just about filled it now, which is why I just printed the labels off uh, and sending it up. There's a few more bulky bits in here. Um, last time I was talking about board games that I wasn't sending them up yet, but I've got a sealed friend's seen it. Um, there's no FBA sellers at the moment selling those. And you, I, I thought I might as well send that one up. Uh, I'll put that on at 50 quid, so hopefully that'll go. Um, a few other bits and bobs that I picked up in charity shops that are brand new and sealed that I can get more by sending up to FBA. Um, some old retail arbitrage stock. I've got loads and loads of these. I thought I'd send a few up and just see how they go. Um, but these, I think, most of it I'll just hang on till Christmas. Um, but I thought I'd see if I could get a few of those moving. These were Tesco stock. Um, a random selection of books that I've picked up recently while I've been out in charity shops scanning books. We've got sweet peas there. Um, I'm going to put this stuff. Um, a Land Rover Haynes manual. They go for quite good money. Japanese for dummies. Um, some of these, if they're brand new ones, I've been sealing them up. This is a Gino De Campo book, and just a few more random ones. Ah, uh, this I've got another one of these. This isn't new, but I put it in a in a bag anyway because I'm asking thirty odd quid for it. It's a Final Fantasy strategy guide, and a little graphic novel in there. So yeah, a nice selection of books from the first lot I sent up. I did really well with the books, so that's quite encouraging. Let's put those in there. Um, what else have we got? Um, a couple of N64 games are going up. You may have seen I showed, I picked this up uh, for 50p not long ago. I thought I'd try my luck on FBA with that, so I've bagged it. Um, I can't remember the price I'm asking for that, but it's quite high in that condition. And this Banjo Tui I've bagged because it's loose with its manual. Um, and I think I've put that on at 50 or 45 or thereabouts. Um, that's about right for that game. So yeah, they're going up. Um, random CD, a couple of PS2 games, which don't have a lot of value, but there was no FBA sellers. Um, these are used, obviously. They're not sealed. Um, so I thought I'd chance my arm on those. There's no real value in them, but because there's no FBA sellers, um, I'm asking, you know, a lot higher than the Merchant Fulfilled. Um, so yeah, a general mixture of stuff. This little spot, the intro, that's a sealed one. Um, I've priced that quite high because I'm the only, I think I'm the only FBA for a sealed one of those. So yeah, so now I've just got to label up everything uh, and get it sent up. What I thought I'd do um, now is just explain 
exactly what FBA is because I forget that a lot of people that follow me perhaps don't know what the terms are, don't know what on earth I'm talking about. Um, I know a lot of people that follow me are, are doing this themselves. A lot of people have been doing it for quite a while. I mean, I'm, I'm new to this myself. Um, but let me just explain what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Amazon FBA. And Amazon FBA stands for Fulfilled by Amazon. Now, I've been selling on Amazon for years and years and years, but doing it merchant fulfilled, which means I fulfill all the orders. And by fulfilling the order, it just means packing the stock, sending it out, and dealing with any customer service or returns that come with it. So that's how I've done everything for years and years and years. And I still do. I still do. A lot of this stock you might see behind me is uh, on Amazon. But when it sells, the order comes through to me and I pick it and pack it and send it out. Whereas with FBA, you send your stuff in boxes like I've just shown you up to the Amazon warehouse and they warehouse it for you. When the order comes in, I get a notification saying I've sold it, but that's I don't have to do anything because Amazon has the stock. So they pick it and they pack it and send it to the customers. Now the advantages of this are that because Amazon have it in their warehouse, um, their prime customers can buy your stuff with their prime advantages so they can get free next day delivery and all that stuff. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a really tickly cough again. Can't get rid of it. Um, so yeah, and by selling FBA, you can ask a premium price for, for your stuff. Um, so yeah, that kind of sums it up really, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, so now I've just got to get some labeling done. So, so let me show you some, some labeling and explain what I'm doing. Right, so I'm all ready to start labeling. Um, if we start here. This one, this is the Final Fantasy Strategy Guide, which had two barcodes on the back. One was in this corner and one about halfway along. So I've just stuck a blank label over one of the barcodes because one label wouldn't cover both. And Amazon are really fussy about the fact that no other barcodes can be seen. The only barcode that's scannable on your item needs to be the FBA one. So like I said, I just covered up the one that was in this corner. And then I get my FBA label and stick it so it's covered the other one. And that's job done. So another advantage of bagging stuff, I mean I don't bag everything as you've seen, uh, is that the label doesn't end up on the product. Um, but yeah, that's all good, that's ready to go. But in contrast, this book, um, I mean this is sold as a used book anyway, um, and I'm just going to stick straight on. So covering up the original barcode, that's now good to go. Likewise with that N64 game I showed you. Oh, hang on. I've got the label stuck in the wrong place. This one is bagged, um, but you can still just about see the barcode poking through the suffocation warnings there. So again, just cover up the original barcode and on it goes. With items like this, I'm going to continue to bag them because this, for the price I'm selling it for as well, it's likely to be going for a collector and they will be super fussy. Um, so if that barcode is stuck straight on the card box, they wouldn't be too impressed with that and you'll probably damage it having to get the barcode uh, label off. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but that's Monty scratching the floor. Monty, stop making noise, I'm making a video. What are you doing? Crazy dog. So yeah, that's another advantage of bagging these more collectible items that the collector won't be a bit peed off that he has to peel a label off his thing. So that's that one. Um, and again, with the other N64 game, I can't get my label off. Um, yeah, there's no barcode to cover up on here. So it doesn't really matter, I guess, where I put it. I'll just stick it on the back. Clearly visible. Right in the middle like that. So that's job done. And yeah, it's it's as simple as that really, just covering up the barcodes. This is already sealed up in a plastic package. So again, it's just a case of covering up any barcode that you can see. 
and that is now ready to go. Likewise with sealed board games, just find the existing barcode. I find this really quite satisfying to be honest, I don't know if it's the sort of OCD part of me, but I, I like doing repetitive tasks like this and filling a box with stuff and getting it all ready to go. I find it really quite satisfying. Um, so yeah, again, ready to go, job done. And with these uh, second-hand PlayStation 2 games, I'm just sending them up as they are. I mean, obviously they're not sealed, but, you know, it's not going to come open, this. I don't think there's any worry about that. So I'm just sticking the barcode on. Again, covering up the existing one. And ready to go. Quick and easy. I don't see any point in bagging those ones up. Um, so yeah, that's that part of it. And then when they're all labelled seal up the box um, and get the shipping label ready and then that's it it'll be collected and it will go up to the warehouse Amazon will warehouse everything and that's the last I will see of it um, so yeah hope that was interesting um, I'm I don't know I I haven't sent much up to FBS FBA yet so um, I don't know how into this I'm gonna get to be honest I'm still merchant fulfilling a certain amount of stuff. Um, I bought a load of books at charity shops uh, throughout the last couple of weeks. As you can see, some I'm sending up because uh, there weren't many FBA sellers and I think I can ask a premium price for FBA. But a lot of the books that I picked up, I've, I've merchant fulfilled for, you know, because I think I can achieve more that way because i'll get less fees i don't know it's i'm i'm kind of picking and choosing how i'm selling stuff and of course i'm still piling tons of stuff on ebay uh, this is just i'm seeing it as another string to my bow really uh and looking forward to christmas and seeing how much stuff i can shift uh like board game wise and stuff in november december but yeah early days yet i did have one um slightly frustrating issue with fba uh, only a couple of days ago, I sent up in my first shipment a brand new sealed PlayStation 2 game. It's Soul Calibur 2, uh, and it sold fairly quickly for £16, which was a lot more than I had it listed Merchant Fulfilled. I had it listed on there for about, uh, I think it was £9.80, just under £10. Uh, sent it up to FBA. It sold really quick for whatever I said, £15, £16. And then yesterday, um, I noticed on my account that Amazon had issued a refund. There was no reason as to why the customer had got a refund for it. It was brand new factory sealed, so I failed to see what on earth the issue could be. I don't know whether he's returned it and it will go back into inventory. It's not showing on my inventory, so I don't know. I think I've just lost that £16. Um, and I couldn't find anywhere that told me a reason why so that's quite frustrating I've, I've no idea what happened there but there you go anyway that's that i started waffling so i will now stop waffling and let you get on with your lives um and yeah i've got lots of videos that people have asked for lots of videos that i need to make i need to redo that video about finding stock on amazon um so yeah thanks for watching guys i'll stop waffling now give it a thumbs up and i'll speak to you soon bye for now